What's up guys, in this video we're going to be adding a new hook, that way we prevent users from underbidding or doing a bid that's lower than the current price. So let's say the current price is $20, right now we can currently go uh, set the current price to 10 and we don't want to do that. So the mechanism we're going to use to uh, stop this from happening is whatever number they put here, we're going to go fetch the current price and we're just going to add the current price here to the value. So you're always above uh, what the current auction price is. So we're going to do feathers generate hook to add this new hook that we're going to create. I'm going to call it place bid. This is going to be a before hook and it's going to be on the auction service. And this happens when we patch. So I'm going to come over here to our project and I'm going to go to place bid. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hook.app.service and I'm going to get the auction service. And now what I want to do is I want to get the auction that we're going to be updating. So if I do hook.id, um, hook.id maps to the ID value of the auction that we're updating. So that'll get us the auction. And then all I want to do is grab its current price so const price is equal to auction dot data values and then current price and now oops I spelled that we want to parse float because it comes back I believe it comes back as a string and we want to do some addition with it and so now we're going to modify our hook dot data dot current price is equal to price plus uh, parse float um, hook dot data dot current price. So hook dot data dot current price is the price that they pass in. That would be like the ten dollars here, and then. Uh, the price that we're grabbing is like this value here. So we're adding those two together. So if someone made a post request uh, or a patch request and they did that, we would then um, make it $30. And then we return hook. So I'm going to start that and see if that works. npm start. Okay, so if I get the auction currently $20. So then if I update it with $10, we should expect it to bump the 30. And can I read property get of undefined? So let's see, we made a syntax here. Can I read get of undefined? And this should be auctions, not auction. Because the service is plural. So let's run that again. And awesome, the current price is now $30. So now let's say Here's another thing um, that could cause us problems. Say I bid for negative $45. We now have a negative current price, so we don't want that. So one way we can go about doing that, and we can uh, place that logic here, is we can say um, we only want to update if the bid is greater than zero. Um, so we can either throw an error if we want to, or we can um, pretend it's zero. And I think for um, for now, so if they place a negative one, we could just say their current. We could just say they take the current price, but it makes more sense to throw an error. I think. Yeah. So to throw an error. Can just grab that feathers JS error. Um, they have a special way of how they like to throw errors. So if we come back over here, we can do that. So I'm going to copy this. Let's move this over here. We're just going to do const errors require feathers errors. 
And the arrow we'd like to throw is, this seems good, bad request, validation errors. So if we're going to do this before um, we even do that part of our hook where we add it. So now we're going to say if we're going to parse float again, hook dot data dot current price. So the one that passed in is less than say, because zero doesn't work either. Let's say less than zero. Well, that's just fine. We'll check it like this. It's less than or equal to zero. We'll throw this error. Throw new errors. Dot bad request. Invalid current price. Actually, we're fine saying parameters, I guess, because we say current price here. Um, has to be greater than or equal to zero. Okay, so now we should throw an error. Oops, over here. Oops, let's see what we did wrong. Um, missing initializer and const. There we go. Need to put an equal sign. Okay, so the server starts up now. So now I should get an error when I patch this. And we do. Awesome. So now when I do 13, 13 again, you notice every time I bid, the price goes up. Okay, very nice. So now we can place bids. And I think this pretty much. Um, is we're going to stop working on the back end. I think it's at a pretty good place where it's all, we can log in, create users, create auctions, update auctions. Um, I think our back end is just about complete. We might make some changes as we start the app, but in the next video, we're going to start setting up our app and uh, use this server. And uh, if you had trouble following along at all through this, because I know Feathers.js can look a little weird at first. Um, all the code will be put on GitHub. If you look in the description below, I have a link to the GitHub so you can look at what the code is. And you can see if yours differs, if yours is not working. So thank you guys for watching, and we'll start making the app in the next video.